Hello everyone, I'm Karsten and in this video I want to show you how to build a full realistic day-night cycle. So it's a new conceptual video. The, gay, uh, the, the, the question was asked in the help section how to build a full realistic day-night cycle with the sun moving over the southern direction and not northern, which is the default behavior. And so the sun starts in the east goes over the south and ends in the west and uh, makes a full turn around the planet and I try to simulate something like this. So this is the southern direction, here is the east, south, west, north. So we see my sun is now in the south and going to the west. So it's not really full realistic, so the transition is an east transition with a, per, a slow start. Then it was uh, will be faster and it uh, ends slowly. So um, I have a non-linear transition, more like um, this, like my mouse actually does. So I have several slides of my sun. So maybe we can get a linear transition for the sun as well. And uh, now I want to show you how I build up this game cycle. So in the preparation, I started with a table of my states. So I need several transitions and lighting presets. I also have a tutorial video about lighting presets. You can see this in my tutorial corner. I think it's episode 11 or 12. So we will start with this names. So we have um, times 0, 0, 0, 0. It's um, midnight and the vertical angle is 0. Then at 3 o'clock it's also 0 and from 6 in the morning we start raising the sun to a maximum of 80 degree in the um, midday and then it um, decreases back to zero. And the horizontal angle is from the east to uh, southeast, south, south again, but um, the opposite um, position in the, in the slider. And then we are going to the west. And the ambient light and dynamic light is starting from zero and then uh, goes slightly up to its maximum uh, of uh, 1.0 ambient light and 2.0 um, dynamic light and then back to zero. So additional, I marked uh, yellow rows, which are um, something like a helper presets. So as you can see, I am ending at a zero degree. And if I do not jump to 360, um, the sun makes a full turn. So it goes from the from the east a full turn back to the east, uh, for the south, a full turn back to the south. So zero and 363 is the same, but it uh, it causes um, a, a full turn around the planet. So that is not what I want. So I use the transition from this row to this row uh, with an instant preset change and um, also from this row to this row. but Every other row has a transition time of 30 seconds in my case. So then I um, used these values to build up my presets. Okay, so as you can see, I have several presets in the map. Lighting presets, so this is my Midnight preset, then three o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, the midday preset, and then I jump instantly to this position. I make a full turn in zero, uh, zero seconds, so instantly, 
so you cannot see the sun moving and then i can make slow transitions for uh, three in the afternoon six o'clock in the afternoon and nine o'clock in the afternoon and then at midnight and then i will make the full transition to zero in the morning where my horizontal angle changes from west to east so and now i have to script this and i also want the ability to stop my game cycle or my day night cycle so i added the global property day cycle on and if i set this to false my sun movement stops instantly or not instantly um, in the next cycle step i want to show it in, in the game so let's come to the script editor i built the day cycle script and i added is it to the post load script of my map so and the script editor shows you how the magic cures so my script begins by assigning a value that is my cycle step time and it's a it's a fast way to change my adjustment so i can simply change my five seconds per cycle to 30 seconds or any time i want so let's say we have a day cycle of um, 10 seconds per step so and then i wrap this in a loop so the loop never stops i i'm looping all the time while true and you cannot stop this so but in the loop we evaluate the condition global property day cycle on equals true and then we handle the cycle values oh i see we also need a, a wait function otherwise we will end in an unresponding situation because the transition is made again and again and again so i need to add a wait function in this case for a, for a second so i will we try to execute the cycle every second but not a million times per second so like this okay so if the cycle is on i assign the value which is my global property cycle name so i will write my cycle names in the global property to evaluate this so and then i evaluate the cycle name so which is now in the values uh, in the variable cycle name and if this midnight then we set the lighting preset to three in the morning with a duration or transition time of our step time we will wait the step time before we set the next lighting preset otherwise all presets are triggered in a row which is really um yeah mm, weird so it is um mixed together and we doesn't have a, a, a natural result any in any way so and then i write the next name of my cycle to my probable property cycle name and also i log a message that is three o'clock so and this for the whole day i also can um, refactor this method and build sub functions or uh, using arrays or something like this but it's more complicated to explain the concept so i use this approach it's a simple uh, timetable where everything is um, um, handled from and the special uh, transitions are from 12 to 12 and one minute which is my helper so if it's 12 o'clock i will step to if it's um, nine in the morning i step to 12 with a cycle time 
And I set the next time to 12 o'clock and also give the, the current time. And then I instantly switch to 12 and one minute, which is my helper to um, repositioning the sun uh, instantly. So, and the same happens at midnight from 24 to zero. So I also want to show you the code so you can make pause and copy this in your game to have a try. And one can improve this script uh, a lot. So there is much potential to to um, inc to to refine the script so that it's uh, better and more robust, uh, solid, more solid. So, but it works for now to build the cycle. And now I want to show you how to stop the loop. So let's look at day cycle on. And now every single preset phase is uh, triggered in a row with my cycle time. So it makes a pause after triggering the, the preset with a duration of 30 seconds. And we have to wait 30 seconds as well. So day cycle on was it, I think. Um, we, can, we can check this with um, print global punct property and speech marks day cycle on and if we get true when we get true everything is fine so we can set it to off so my loop stops in the next transition ah false of course. So we we are stopping our day night cycle. So in the case you're talking with an NPC or something like this, you have to control about your game cycle, but not in real time, more in um, in uh, specified time steps between the transitions. So um, it would be the best to split up the day night cycle to more phases or to make a better approach how to stop the time on the day in, in, while the day night cycle uh, is walking okay that's it for now uh, like in the last video it's a really early um, approach to handle this and to give away to build a realistic day night cycle with a lot potential for improvements. So if you have suggestions for me how I can improve this or if I get um, ideas by myself, I will release a new one maybe or I will write a, a discussion in the Discord forum as well. Um, if you liked it, um, maybe you give me a thumbs up or you um, subscribe to my channel to don't miss any um, concept video or tutorial. So have fun with this, build awesome games, and um, I hope I will see you in one of the next episodes as well. Bye.